Hello students, welcome to Adhan's classes. In this video we are providing 50 most important and latest current affairs question answers with explanation. Watch carefully and don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel. So let's begin. Question 1. Hezbollah militants group is belong to which country? A. Iran B. Syria C. Lebanon D. Egypt The correct answer is C. Lebanon Israel considers the Iran-backed Sheath militant group Hezbollah its most serious immediate threat, estimating that Hezbollah has around 150,000 rockets and missiles aimed at Israel. Question 2 Where is the COP28 summit being organized? A. A. Riyadh B. Nairobi C. Is Sydney D. Dubai The correct answer is D. Dubai. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is participating in the COP28 summit being held in Dubai. In this conference he will address the World Climate Action Summit. Question 3. Which state celebrates Mera Ho Chongba Festival 2023? A. Nagaland B. Assam C. Sikkim D. Manipur The correct answer is D. Manipur. Mera Ho Chongba has deep roots in the history of Manipur. The festival is observed and celebrated during the month of Mera, which typically falls in September or October. Question 4. Which Indian state becomes first state with hallmarking centers in every district? A. Kerala B. Uttarakhand C. Gujarat D. Rajasthan The correct answer is A. Kerala Kerala has achieved a remarkable milestone by inaugurating a hallmarking center in Idukki. This achievement has solidified Kerala's position as the first state in India to establish hallmarking centers in all of its 14 districts. Question 5 which Indian university is set to launch its own satellite? A. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore B. Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh C. Anna University, Chennai D. Punjab University, Chandigarh The correct answer is B. Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh Aligarh Muslim University, AMU, has embarked on a groundbreaking space initiative the SS AMU SAT project, approved by the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Centre, in space, dot led by AMU's Robo Club, this initiative aims to develop a 3U CubeSat, marking the first satellite named after AMU's founder, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan. Question 6. Which country is celebrating its 100th anniversary? A. Japan B. South Korea C. Turkey D. Honduras The correct answer is C. Turkey Turkish Republic celebrated its 100th anniversary, marking a century since its establishment as a modern, secular state following the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Question 7 Which of the following is the official sponsor of the 37th edition of the National Games? A. Paytm B. Google C. Amazon D. Flipkart The correct answer is A. Paytm The official sponsor of the 37th edition of the National Games is Paytm. Question 8. What is the mascot of Kelo India Para Games 2023? A. Shera B. Arjun C. Ujwala D. Bhima The correct answer is C. Ujwala. The logo and mascot Ujwala of the Kelo India Para Games 2023, which is being organized for the first time, was launched by Union Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur in New Delhi. Ujwala Sparrow has been announced as the official mascot of the Para Games 2023. Question 9 Where was India's first solar roof cycling track, Healthway? Inaugurated to promote eco-friendly and active mobility? A. New Delhi B. Hyderabad C. Mumbai 
D. Bangalore. Answer B. Hyderabad. Hyderabad, India, has taken a significant step towards promoting eco friendly and active mobility by inaugurating its first solar roof cycling track, Healthway. This innovative track, which is a pioneering initiative in the country, was officially opened by K. Tarkarama Rao, the State Municipal Administration and Urban Development Minister. Question 10. Which country has begun accepting PTE scores for student direct stream applications? A. United Kingdom B. Canada C. Australia D. United States The correct answer is B. Canada. Canada has officially approved the use of Pearson's PTE academic test scores for student direct stream applications expanding opportunities for international students pursuing education in Canada. Question 11. Whose tenure has been extended again by BCCI as the head coach of the Indian team? A. VVS Lakshman B. Rahul Dravid C. Ashish Nehra D. Gautam Gambhir The correct answer is B. Rahul Dravid BCCI has extended the tenure of Rahul Dravid as the head coach of the Indian team. Question 12. Who has been awarded the USSPSPF Global Leadership Award for Philanthropy and Corporate Social Responsibility? A. Arunditi Roy B. Kangana Ranaut C. Juhi Chavla D. Neeta Ambani The correct answer is D. Neeta Ambani Neeta Ambani, founder and chair of Reliance Foundation, was honoured with the 2023 Uses PSPF Global Leadership Award for Philanthropy and Corporate Social Responsibility. Question 13. Who was recently honoured with the PRSI National Award for Outstanding Contribution to Healthcare Communication? A. Ayushi Singh B. Suganti Sundar Raj C. Smriti Irani D. Soumya Swaminathan The correct answer is B. Suganti Sundarraj. Suganti Sundarraj has been honoured with the PRSI National Award for her outstanding contribution to the Public Relations Society of India and the Public Relations Industry. Question 14. Which technology has been introduced by Indian Railways to prevent accidents caused by elephants on railway tracks? A. Hathi Kavach B. Gajraj Suraksha C. Gaj Suraksha D. Gajraj Kavach The correct answer is B. Gajraj Suraksha Indian Railways has introduced a state-of-the-art technology called Gajraj Suraksha to prevent accidents caused by elephants on railway tracks. It uses AI-based algorithms and a network of sensitive optical fiber cables to detect elephants coming close to railway tracks. Question 15. Who has been recently recognized as the eighth wonder of the world? A. Kutub Minar B. Meenakshi Temple C. Pompeii D. Angkor Wat Temple The correct answer is D. Angkor Wat Temple. Cambodia's ancient Angkor Wat Temple has been declared as the eighth wonder of the world. This 800-years-old temple was built by King Suryavarman II. This world's largest temple is spread over about 500 acres. This temple is also included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. This temple was built in the 12th century. Question 16. Who is the author of the book Monsoon, a poem of love and longing? A. Amitav Ghosh B. Arundhati Roy C. Abhay Kumar D. Vikram Seth The correct answer is C. Abhay Kumar The book Monsoon, a poem of love and longing is written by Abhay Kumar, an Indian poet and diplomat. He is the Deputy Director General of the Indian Council of Cultural Relations, ICCR. Question 17 Where did Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurate the 10,000 Jan Oshdi Kendra? A. Ujjain B. Varanasi C. Deoghar D. Patna The correct answer is C. Deoghar 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the 10,000th Jan Oshdi Center at AIMS, Deoghar. Jan Oshdi Kendra is playing an important role in public health services. Question 18. Who was the renowned nuclear physicist who recently passed away at the age of 78? A. Homi Bhabha B. Bikash Sinha C. Anil Kakodkar D. Raza Ramanna The correct answer is B. Bikash Sinha Bikash Sinha, a distinguished nuclear physicist, passed away at the age of 78. Question 19 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders are the indigenous citizens of which country? A. USA B. Australia C. Russia D. China The correct answer is B. Australia Australians have roundly rejected greater rights for indigenous citizens, ending plans to amend the country's 122-year-old constitution after a divisive and racially tinged referendum campaign. Question 20. Which union minister launched the National Outreach Programme on Anganwadi Protocol for Children with Disabilities? A. Rajnath Singh B. Anurag Thakur C. Dharmendra Pradhan D. Smriti Irani The correct answer is D. Smriti Irani Union Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani launched the National Outreach Program on Anganwadi Protocol for Disabled Children. Question 21. Which state won the title of Senior Mains National Hockey Championship? A. Haryana B. Punjab C. Uttar Pradesh D. Madhya Pradesh The correct answer is B. Punjab. Punjab's hockey team won the title of Senior Mains National Hockey Championship by defeating defending champion Haryana. Question 22. Who was honoured at the 14th Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, IFFM, awards for completing 25 years in the Indian film industry as a filmmaker? A. Karan Johar B. Amitabh Bachchan C. Rajkumar Hirani D. Shah Rukh Khan the correct answer is A. Karan Johar. Karan Johar was honoured for completing 25 years in the Indian film industry as a filmmaker at the 14th Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, IFFM, awards. Question 23. Asia's largest open-air annual trade fair Bali Yatra was inaugurated in which state? A. Uttar Pradesh B. Rajasthan C. Odisha D. Bihar The correct answer is C. Odisha Bali Jatra, Asia's largest open-air annual trade fair commemorating the glorious ancient maritime heritage of Odisha, was inaugurated on the banks of Mahandi in Katak. Question 24 Who is appointed as the caretaker premier after the dissolution of the Pakistani parliament? A. Imran Khan B. Shahbaz Sharif C. A. Raza Riaz D. Anwar ul Kakar. The correct answer is D. Anwar ul Kakar. After Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif dissolved the country's parliament on Wednesday, he and opposition leader Raza Riaz agreed to name Senator Anwar ul Kakar as caretaker premier. Question 25 Which airline has recently launched AI chatbot to help customers in flight ticket booking? A. Indigo B. Air India C. Vistara D. Spice Jet The correct answer is A. Indigo Indigo's parent company Interglobe Aviation Limited has introduced AI Chatbot 6 SKI to improve its customer service experience. With its help, customers will be helped in booking flight tickets. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel and proceed. Question 26. Where was the foundation stone of Sant Shirome Gurudev Sri Ravidas Ji Memorial laid by the Prime Minister? A. Battuma Village, Sagar District, Madhya Pradesh. B. Badli, New Delhi, India. C. Mangli Village, Nagpur, Maharashtra. D. Ravidas Ashram, Uttar Pradesh.
The correct answer is A. Battuma village, Sagar district, Madhya Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone of Sant Shiromi Gurudev Sri Ravidas Ji Memorial which will be constructed in more than 100 crores at Battuma village of Sagar district in Madhya Pradesh. Question 27 Who has recently been made the captain of all three formats of the South African women's cricket team? A. Mignan Dupreez B. Imarizan Cap C. Shabnim Ismail D. Laura Woolvart. The correct answer is D. Laura Woolvart. Laura Woolvart has been appointed the full time South African women's captain. 24 year old Woolvart will lead the South African women's team in all three formats of the game. Question 28 When is International Left Handers Day celebrated? A. 15th July. B. 13th August. C. 21st September D. 10th October The correct answer is B. 13th August International Left-Handers Day, observed annually on 13th August, is a global celebration that recognizes and appreciates the diverse skills, talents, and viewpoints of left-handed individuals. Question 29 Researchers have recently discovered a new plant species in which tiger reserve? A. Kanha Tiger Reserve B. Kalakkar Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve C. Sariska Tiger Reserve D. Melghat Tiger Reserve The correct answer is B. Kalakkar Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve Researchers have discovered a new plant species in the genus Impatiens Balsaminaceae in the Kalakkar Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve in Tirnil Valley. Question 30 who is the 2023 Ramon Magsisay awardee from India for his work in improving cancer care in rural India? A. Dr. Ramesh Patel B. Dr. Sanjay Sharma C. Dr. Ravi Kannan R. D. Dr. Meera Kumar The correct answer is C. Dr. Ravi Kannan R. Dr. Ravi Kannan R. is a surgical oncologist who has dedicated his career to improving cancer care in rural India. Question 31. The Competition Commission of India, CCI, has cleared the merger of Tata Sia Airlines with which airlines? A. AirAsia India. B. Air India. C. Go First. D. Indigo. The correct answer is B. Air India. The Competition Commission of India, CCI, has cleared the merger of Tata Sia Airlines with Air India. This is a major milestone in the merger process, which is expected to be completed by March 2024. Question 32. Which will be the first airline to start flights from Noeda International Airport? A. Indigo B. Vistara C. Air India D. Spice Jet The correct answer is A. Indigo Indigo will be the first airline to start flights from Noida International Airport. Noida International Airport, NIA, has recently signed and more with Indigo. Question 33. Which Hollywood actor has been honored with the Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award? A. Istvan Sazabo B. Michael Douglas C. Martin Scorsese D. Carlos Sora the correct answer is B. Michael Douglas. Hollywood actor Michael Douglas has been honored with the Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award at the 54th International Film Festival of India, IFFI. The 54th IFFI is being organized in Goa. Question 34. What is the primary purpose of a windfall tax in the context of the energy sector? A. To encourage companies to generate higher profits. B. To prevent companies from earning any profits. C. To regulate excessive profits during favorable market conditions. D. To increase government revenue from all industries. The correct answer is C. To regulate excessive profits during favorable market conditions. A windfall tax is designed to regulate excessive profits that companies may earn during favorable market conditions. It aims to ensure a fair distribution of wealth and prevent profiteering. Question 35. 
Krishnaveni Sangeetha Niraznam Festival is associated with which state? A. Tamil Nadu B. Andhra Pradesh C. Kerala D. Karnataka The correct answer is B. Andhra Pradesh It is a first-of-its-kind festival to celebrate the rich heritage of classical music and promote lesser-known tourist attractions. The main event is to be organized in December 2023 in Vijayawada. The event will also feature spectacular display and sale of regional cuisine, local handicrafts, and handlooms. Question 36. Who was honored with the prestigious Legion d'Honneur for significant contributions to space cooperation between France and India? A. Thierry Mathieu B. K. Sivan C. Via Lalitambika D. Milswami Annadurai The correct answer is C. Via Lalitambika Via Lalitambika, recognized for her vital role in fostering collaboration between CNES and ISRO, received the Legion d'Honneur for her significant contributions to space cooperation between France and India. Question 37 Who is leading the committee to explore the possibility of one nation? One election in India. A. Ram Nath Kovin. B. Narendra Modi. C. Amit Shah. D. Anurag Thakur. The correct answer is A. Ram Nath Kovin. The Indian government announced on 1st September 2023 that it has formed a committee led by former President of India, Ram Nath Kovin, to explore the feasibility of one nation, one election. Question 38. Recently, Ursia Sattar was honoured with which French distinction for her contributions to Indian literature and mythology? A. Knight of the Order of the Legion of Honour B. Commander of the National Order of Merit C. Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters D. Officer of the Order of Academic Puns The correct answer is C. Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters Ashia Sattar was recently honoured with the Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters by the French government for her remarkable contributions to Indian literature and mythology. Question 39. What was the GDP growth rate for India in the July to September quarter of FI24? A. 5.2% B. 7.6% C. 7.9% D. 8.3% the correct answer is B. 7.6%. India's GDP grew at an impressive rate of 7.6% in the July to September quarter of FI24, showcasing a robust economic performance. Question 40. Who recently took charge as the new Secretary of the Ministry of Mines on 1 September 2023? A. Ramesh Sharma. B. Deepak Kumar. C. Kiran Gupta D. V. L. Kanta Rao The correct answer, D. V. L. Kanta Rao V. L. Kanta Rao assumed the role of Secretary of the Ministry of Mines on 1 September 2023, and he is an Indian Administrative Service, IS, officer from the 1992 batch. Question 41 Who has been reappointed as the CEO of OpenAI? A. Brett Taylor B. Meera Murthy C. Greg Brockman D. Sam Altman The correct answer is D. Sam Altman Artificial intelligence-based company OpenAI has officially again appointed Sam Altman as the CEO of the company. Recently he had resigned from his post. Question 42 who has been nominated as the new president of the Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, Pune? A. Amitabh Bachchan B. Ishah Rukh Khan C. Amir Khan D. R. Madhavan The correct answer is D. R. Madhavan. Renowned actor R. Madhavan has been nominated as the new president of the Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, Pune. Question 43. Which Asian country has launched the auction of 20 critical mineral blocks, including lithium and graphite? A. China B. India 
C. Malaysia D. Bangladesh The correct answer is B. India India for the first time invited bids for 20 critical mineral blocks, including lithium and graphite. This is not only seen to boost economic development but also a part of the nation's strategy to ensure adequate domestic resources of essential raw materials for powering the green energy transition. Question 44. Who has been appointed as India's first woman aide de camp ADC, by Mizoram Ghana Dr. Hari Babu Kambapti? A. Manisha Padhi B. Anjali Singh C. Avni Chaturvedi D. Kavita A. Valia The correct answer is A. Manisha Padhi Squadron leader Manisha Padhi, a distinguished officer from the 2015 batch of the Indian Air Force, has been appointed as India's first woman aide-de-camp ADC, by Mizoram Governor Dr. Hari Babu Kambhakti. Question 45. Hambantota port, which was seen in the news, is in which country? A. Israel B. Ukraine C. Sri Lanka D. Afghanistan The correct answer is C. Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan cabinet has given clearance to allow China's energy major Sinopec to establish a new $4.5 billion petroleum refinery plant at the strategic Hambantota port in the island nation. Question 46. Which country has named the cyclone Mekong formed in the Bay of Bengal? A. Myanmar B. Japan C. China D. India The correct answer is a. Myanmar There is a possibility of cyclone Michaung in the Bay of Bengal. A low-pressure area is formed over the southeast Bay of Bengal and the adjacent South Andaman Sea. Question 47 Which industry experienced the highest growth rate in cumulative production during April to October 2023-24? A. Coal B. Electricity C. Steel D. Natural gas. The correct answer is C. Steel. The steel industry exhibited the highest cumulative growth rate of 14.5% during April to October 2023 to 24. Question 48. Who has assumed charge as the new Principal Director General of the Press Information Bureau, PIB? A. Rajesh Malhotra. B. Manish Desai. C. Sitan Shukar D. K. S. Dhatwalia The correct answer is B. Manish Desai Shri Manish Desai has assumed charge as the new Principal Director General of the Press Information Bureau, PIB. Question 49 Which wicketkeeper batsman of West Indies recently retired from international cricket? A. Nicholas Puran B. Shane Dowrich C. Shai Hope D. Ashley Nurse The correct answer is B. Shane Dowrich Wicketkeeper batsman Shane Dowrich of West Indies has recently declared retirement from international cricket. Question 50 Ras Mahotsav or Ras Leela Festival is celebrated in which state? A. Rajasthan B. Assam C. West Bengal D. Gujarat the correct answer is B. Assam. The annual Ras Mahotsav or Ras Leela has started in Assam's Majuli, the world's largest inhabited river island. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get latest videos on current affairs and other topics for various upcoming exams.